Hi guys, Shox here and welcome back to the cake decorating playlist. Today I get to do a very, very special cupcake pull apart cake from my friend. Her daughter, it's her daughter's baptism today. So this is going to be really quick. I've got to make this cake in a hurry. So we've got 40 cupcakes laid out there. I'm just about to tack them down. I did make a couple of sketches that we uh, talked about and that she got to choose from. So I'm very, very excited to do this cake. And I think this is going to be like a super duper quick video. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to explain my details. I would just like to make a video of me making it. Okay, so I'm just going to tack these cupcakes down. It's not really all that exciting. Quick, quick, quick. And then that way it'll help hold them in place when we do our decorating. And yeah, you'll notice a couple of the cupcakes. Just sometimes you over pour, right? So just stick them in the middles. Help fill in those gaps. Okay, I'll come back when it's ready to go. So now at this stage of the game, I'm just going to give these all a little swoopy to make a flat icing area. I just have an open bag here. Like I don't even have a tip in there. Do, do, do. You kind of want your outside edges to look pretty, right? Another thing you want to think about when you're doing a cake like this is it does take more icing to do a cupcake cake than it does to do a regular cake. So don't cut yourself short and think you can get away with decorating a cupcake cake with only one batch of icing. So I'm just going to finish swooping this and then I'll show you how to flat ice it. Okay, so I've got my really long spatula here and I'm just going to scrape the top, just a little angle. We're not trying to scrape it off, we're just trying to smooth it out. You can use whatever size palette knife you want, cake decorating knife, whatever you want to call it. I'm using this because it's a pretty big cake. Well, there's a trick for flat icing as well. I might just show you at the end, but if you want like a totally smooth, glossy finish, you can run your palette knife under hot water. I'm going to have decoration there. I'm just more worried about the edges. All right. Now, try to not have air bubbles. But if you do, you can just take a little dab on the top of your palette knife. All right, now it's time to make our design. So now we're gonna do a cross design. So I'm just going to kind of 
mark it out here with my palette knife. Out there. Okay, so here's a pro tip for you. I am trying to get straight lines across this um, to make a cross. So rather than using my palette knife to try to line it up because that wasn't working for me, you can always grab, can you see this? Um, you can always grab some dental floss. So when you're using floss to make lines, you just dip it in and pull it up. Be straight, dip it in, pull it up. And sometimes that will make life easier for you. There we go. Alright, now to do the outline of the cross. Okay, so I've etched in the basic shape of the cross, and now what I'm going to do is just outline it with a small star tip. I'm going to change my tips and outline it with a big star tip. So I've got a bigger tip on there. Oh, the lighting just got weird. There we go. That looks good. Keeping an even pressure on your bag will help you have even straight lines. There we go. I'm going to texture the inside of the cross just with like a drop design like that. It'll look tighter. So I'm just going to speed this up. All right, there we go. That looks nicely textured to me. So I put on my little star tip and I'm just going to texture this again. Now I need to make a little nameplate right in the middle here so I can write on top of it. Okay, so I just want to complete the sides on the edges too. So I'm just going to do little swoops just to give the edges around the cupcakes a little finished look. So 
So now we need to work on accents. And I wanted to do little pink flowers. And we're going to put the writing in there. And you want to put your accents where it's going to cover up the little dips. Now I'm going to do the inscription and then work my way around that. Now remember at this point you want to wet cloth to keep your tips clean. So if you find you don't have room, just take your border off, do your inscription, and then re-put the border on. Alright, time for some fun. Let's add on some borders, um, some flowers, I'm going to do some vines, some roses. I'm going to gob it on there, but make it look fabulous. So what I have here is just like a little writing tip. This is a number two with my bad lighting. I'm going to do some vines where I can build some roses in and some rosebuds. Okay, so now we need to change this pink tip over and get on to making roses. Okay, let's make some roses. Oh, floppy. Sometimes if your icing gets too warm, you just need to change it in your bag. Remember keeping your bag clean, keeping your tip clean.
Alright. I'm just going to make some more roses and plop them on here. The thing with decorating roses is with flowers, you want to have your heavier part at the bottom so your eye isn't too... you want it to balance. Yep. Roses take practice. I have made hundreds of thousands of roses and I still don't get it perfect the first time. So it's always good to practice. I'm just going to pop this back onto my turntable so I can do some quick rosebuds. And I mean quick. So at this point, it's a very good time for like if you have any dips or flaws in your flat icing. Now you don't have to have a turntable, but I just find at this point it um, it really does help. So you're not spinning your cake around, you're not contorting yourself in weird positions to be able to get this done. So it's just, just like a squeeze and a pullover motion, just to give it a little fold there. It's another floating one. Fill this with beautiful little rosebuds. There we go. And I actually want to uh, accent up here with a couple of rosebuds. There we go. Just something beautiful to frame that in. So let's drop the roses and get on with the leaves. Alright, so I've switched over to my leaf tip. And then we're just going to fill in all around these roses. Okay, here we go. There's the finished cake. Thank you so much for the privilege of making this cake for you. Thanks so much for hanging out here and watching me decorate it. And I will see you guys next time in the cake decorating playlist. Bye-bye.